Na kama mtazamaji alinilipokuwa nimekudokezea hapo awali nilikuwa tutakuwa na wawili hapa studioni ambao wataweza kuzungumzia mawili matatu kuhusiana na masuala ya kijamii hususan uzazi ambao ni swali ambalo ni nyeti sana mjini Nairobi. Kenya na bara la Afrika nzima. Mtazamaji, asubuhi ya leo na wanawake wawili hapa studioni. Moja nitaanza kuyaradhi mapema mapema haielewi lugha ya Kiswahili kwa hivyo itabidi nichanganye Kiswahili na ile ya Kiingereza nafahamika kama daktari Rasha Kelej. Mtazungumza kwa lugha ya ki, Kiingereza sasa. Yeye ni Chief Social Officer wa MAC. Vile vile tunaye mheshimiwa Joyce Lee ambaye ni wakilisha wanawake katika kaunti ya Taita Taveta. Karibuni sana. Thank you sana. Asante. Asante. Ndio karibu sana. Kwa hiyo nitaanza na wewe mheshimiwa. Wewe umeonekana katika mstari wa mbele kabisa kupigia kupegenia mswada wa wanawake kuweza kupata watoto katika njia mbadala ambayo jamii haijui ama labda wanapenda kujificha nayo. Labda utueleze msukumo huo ulitoka wapi? Uh, asante sana kwa kutukaribisha katika show hii. Mm -hmm. uh, ni kwamba msukumo huo kwanza mswada huo ama sheria hiyo ilikuwa imeletwa na Mheshimiwa uh, mm -hmm. Mili Odhiambo. Mheshimiwa mm -hmm. Mili Odhiambo alikuwa amependekeza mambo kadha wa kadha katika mambo ya changamoto ambazo zinawakumba wanawake. Mm -hmm. Na si kwamba ni wanawake peke yake hata wanaume uh, kwa kuweza kupata watoto katika njia ya, ya kawaida ile njia tunasema kwamba tulipatiwa na Mwenyezi Mungu. Mm -hmm. Na ni kwamba unapata kunayo uh, njia tofauti ambazo mtu anaweza kutumia mm -hmm. uh, iwapo kwamba uko na uwezo wa kifedha kwa sababu pia njia hizo tutazungumzia baadaye si kwamba ni kila mtu anaweza kufanya mm -hmm. uh, jambo kama hilo na ni kwamba sheria hiyo ilipokuja bungeni tulikuwa tunaita mara kwanza IVF bill mm -hmm. uh, baadaye tukarekebisha tukasema kwamba kupata watoto njia mbadala si kwamba tutaangazia pia uh, IVF peke yake mm -hmm. pia kwamba kutakuwa na njia zingine za kiteknolojia za sikuizi ambazo zimekuja mm -hmm. ambazo zinaweza zikaangaziwa katika huo mswada. Mm -hmm. um, na ni kwamba pale bungeni tuliweza kujadili huo mswada kulikuwa na changamoto mm -hmm. kadha wa kadha, changamoto nyingi ambazo zilitoka haso hasa katika uh, upande tuseme kwamba wa, wa kidini mm -hmm. kwa sababu wengi ambapo uh, wako katika uh, viongozi wa dini lazima pia waanze kuangalia kwamba Um, maneno ambayo tunazungumza katika huo mswada mm -hmm. hata kwa yanaenda kinyume na sheria za dini. Kweli. Kwa hivyo tulikuwa na wakati pia wakaweza ku, kuangazia mm -hmm. kwamba kuona ni nini ambacho kinaleta uoga katika bill ama mswada huu ambao tulikuwa tumeuleta mm -hmm. na sababu ya kwamba nilikuwa katika mstari wa mbele kuweza kusukuma kwamba mswada huu ukaweze kupita ni kwa sababu ya historia yangu mimi mwenyewe ambayo niweza niweza kupitia na nikaweza kupata mtoto kupitia kwa hiyo ambayo inaitwa ni IVF mm -hmm. na vile vile tena nikaenda tena njia nyingine ambayo inaitwa ni ni, ni ya surrogate kuweza kupata surrogate mother mm -hmm. ambaye ni mwanamke ambaye anaweza kunibebea yule mtoto mm -hmm. japokuwa mtoto ni wangu pamoja na na mme wangu lakini kwa sababu singeweza kubeba yule mtoto kwa sababu ya changamoto ndio kumbana nazo katika mwaka wa elfu moja na nane nikaweza kutolewa kizazi mm -hmm. kwa hivyo ikawa kwamba siwezi nikabeba yule mtoto mimi mwenyewe mm -hmm. ikawa ni kwamba ni bebewe na mtu mwingine lakini kwa sababu ya sheria haikuweko mm -hmm. ya kuweza kuangazia hiyo um, hiyo process ambayo tulikuwa tunafanya ikawa ni kwamba lazima niende ku adopt yule mtoto wangu ni mtoto wangu kwa sababu kila kitu ni chetu mm -hmm. lakini kwa sababu sheria haiangazi mambo ya surrogacy ikabidi nikaweze kufanya adoption ambayo ilinichukua tena miaka minne ya kuweza ku adopt yule mtoto ili kwamba kisheria ajulikane kwamba ni mtoto wangu lakini ni wako maana yake jin wanasema kwa lugha ya Kiingereza ni zako wewe na mume wako lakini kwa kuwa wewe si mama ambaye alimzaa inabidi jina lake liandike katika chetu cha kuzaliwa sio kabisa mm -hmm. kwa hivyo pia katika mswada huu ama hiyo sheria pia ilikuwa inaangazia masuala kama hayo wanawake ambao wanapata watoto kupitia surrogate mothers mm -hmm. wanawake ambao wanapata watoto kupitia the normal ad adoption ili ya kwenda ku adopt mtoto mm -hmm. ili kwamba wakaweze kutambulika kisheria mm -hmm. kama uh, wazazi mm -hmm. wa yule mtoto. Shwari kabisa. Nitakuja kwako Dr. Rash. Because <laughs> <laughs> I understood all this. Yes, because you had the story based before. on that. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. You could understand uh, what yeah, we were talking about. IVF and uh, some uh, <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume that. Yes. Kindly tell us what you do. 
Uh, I am the chief social officer of Merck, as uh, we said, yes. and uh, I do uh, the corporate social responsibility of Merck. Uh -huh. Just to give you an idea, Merck is the oldest pharmaceutical and chemical company in the world, established okay. uh, in 1668, so 350 mm -hmm. Uh, years uh, old. Mm -hmm. So uh, why we created Merck More Than a Mother and what is Merck More Than a Mother? Mm -hmm. More than a mother means that women are more than just mothers. We uh, figured out or we explored that there is a lot of infertile women in Africa are suffering discrimination and mistreatment and we all know that. Yeah. But we never talked about it mm -hmm. and uh, they are already even a subject for violence physically and uh, psychologically. So we said what we're going to do about this because we have to break the stigma and the taboo of infertility mm -hmm. and especially about infertile women mm -hmm. knowing that women are the one who are being blamed for infertility mm -hmm. although 50 percent of the infertility uh, is for uh, caused by male factor mm -hmm. so without so without the men going with their with their wives to the doctor there is no treatment there is no hope to have a happy family mm -hmm. so we want to raise awareness about this but there's also a very important number two numbers the incidence of infertility is too high Although Africa is overpopulated uh, uh, continent, as uh, everyone said, but there is a lot of infertility incidents, which is one every four couples are infertile in their reproductive age, which is a very high number. And out of this, 85%, 85% almost can be prevented because it's caused by untreated infectious diseases, mm -hmm. uh, which is caused by unsafe abortion, unsafe mm -hmm. delivery, STDs, uh, genital mutation, child marriage, all the things we are advocating against every day, causing infertility, uh, causing infertility by causing infections, which mm -hmm. is not treated or diagnosed on the right time, mm -hmm. while uh, the girls are in the uh, mm -hmm. age of children or, or younger mm -hmm. women, don't know, they don't have access to information. So uh, they end up being infertile. So when we went across Africa, actually, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, uh, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, Central African Republic, where is the uh, first lady of Central African Republic is a champion of uh, Merck more than a mother for Francophone African countries. Mm -hmm. And in Nigeria, the first lady of Nigeria is also championing the, uh, the campaign. We discover that all the women we are uh, meeting, they have a, a, a devastating stories to share with us every day. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a different one and uh, when people listen to it and they say we didn't know that we should not do this I mean it's really bad we we cause this suffering for these women yeah and 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 then we discover that these women cannot be treated anymore because mm -hmm. it's too late for them so we said we cannot just leave them mm -hmm. uh, of course mm -hmm. so we are helping the future as you said the future uh, uh, couples to know about infertility, infertility prevention, management mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all this. But what about the women who are already too late for them to be treated? Mm -hmm. So we said we will do for them small like businesses, groups. So mm -hmm. we gather them in groups and we do for them economic empowerment for mm -hmm. business for them mm -hmm. so they can be independent and have purpose in life than other than uh, uh, having children. Having children yeah. So uh, they transformed totally. It's if true. anyone watched the uh, videos of uh, Merck More Than a Mother on uh, YouTube mm -hmm. and uh, see the transformation when the women are sharing their stories uh, uh, of devastation and suffering and mm -hmm. then after four or five months we come back and shoot them and see the transformation of their uh, of their lives and, and, and after the business. Mm -hmm. They're completely different creatures, mm -hmm. completely different people. You, you talked about um, having a support system for the ladies who yes. are not able to mother their own children or to give birth to their own children. Uh, what else do you do? Other uh, than yes. just uh, giving the, the education, educating people and giving them a support system, what else does? Uh, of course, uh, we have to build mother. advocacy for the whole infertility thing. Mm -hmm. So we, we have uh, ambassadors like uh, uh, Honorable Joyce Lay. We have champions, uh, first ladies. So we can have events and media as partners to talk about this and to break the stigma and to educate people either about awareness uh, of uh, prevention and male infertility mm -hmm. or building advocacy against the stigma. Of course, of course, also we defining interventions to to to, to um, uh, regulate ART, uh, mm -hmm. like we're mm -hmm. doing with uh, Joyce Lay, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, people can have access to uh, a regulated and effective and cost-effective and safe. Infertility treatment. Mm -hmm. We have to understand infertility treatment is undergoing anyway, so we need to have it regulated That's and true. safe and uh, with a very high level of standard, mm -hmm. so people do not waste their money or time. So mm -hmm. it will be then cost effective. Yes. We also uh, give training uh, mm -hmm. to embryologists. Mm -hmm. So uh, we know that in Sub-Saharan Africa there is no African embryologist. 
So uh, embryologist is a technical lab tec technical uh, technician who doing the sperm and the, the whole mm -hmm. the whole process. It's a very very sophisticated job. Mm -hmm. Without it, it fails completely the mm -hmm. whole process of treatment. Mm -hmm. So we provide for them tra training so we can have African embryologists, not only exported embryologists yeah, from not different foreign countries, countries because actually. this also add to the cost mm -hmm. usually. And while we do have uh, the, the the resources in inside Africa, inside your country, mm -hmm. and have embryologists. Uh, uh, of course the cost will go down mm -hmm. and the uh, of effectiveness will go up mm -hmm. because they will be available all the time mm -hmm. remember that the embryologists come from uh, uh, abroad only once a month and you you gather all the cases and you do it in yeah. one or two days you need to dedicate a lot of time yes. to that yes. Yes. okay tazamaji kama nilivyokujuza hapo awali nitabadilisha badilisha ya lugha maana kuna mgeni wetu mmoja hapa kwa Kiswahili kimempiga chenga anajua tu kuzungumza katika lugha ya Kiingereza lakini kwako mheshimiwa kuzungumzia uh, swala la wakenya na wa Afrika kwa kijumla. Tunaelega sumba kwamba kama mtu hawezi pata mtoto, hilo ni tatizo. Kama watu katika ndoa hawezi pata tatizo, mtoto ni tatizo za lewe mwanamki. Kwa mwaname yuko sawa. Kama shirika, na wewe kama brand ambassador, ama ambassador wa more than a mother, wina kuwaje kuwaje, mna shirikisha vipi wanaume. Ya, ni kwamba vile mbavo umegusia ni kweli. Wakati umingia katika ndoa, umengoja mwaka moja, mwaka miwili, unasukuma uku na uku, mbona hatuja pata uh, wajukuu wako wapi mm -hmm. ni kwamba ma, malalamishi ya kwanza yanaelekea kwa mwanamke mwanamke ndiye anapata yale hata kwanza tunasema ni uzuni maana yake anabeba ule uzuni kila mm -hmm. mtu anasema huyu ni mwanamke aina gani ambaye umemwoa hawezi akapata mtoto mm -hmm. sasa una kwamba unapata kwamba yule mwanamke anaishi katika njia ya huzuni njia ya kwamba anajiona kwamba yeye hafai kwa sababu wanaume hawataki kujitokeza kwenda mm -hmm. kupimwa kujulikana kwamba shida iko wapi mm -hmm. ni kama vile katika hiyo kampeni uh, tunafanya kuna slogan nyingine tunatumia uh, infertility is a shared responsibility Kwele. ili kwamba kuonyesha na wahimiza wanaume mm -hmm. kwamba wakati mmeona kuna tatizo umepata bibi baada ya miaka mitatu hamjapata watoto mm -hmm. shida si yule mwanamke peke yake yeah. mwende pamoja katika clinic kama couple mwende mpimwe ili kwamba mjue shida iko wapi na kunazo shida ambazo zinaweza zikatibiwa mm -hmm. um, ambazo ukipata madawa hata kama ni mwanamke labda mbegu zako labda hazina nguvu ama uwezo wa kuweza kupatia na ya, mama mtoto unaweza ukapata matibabu mm -hmm. na ni kwamba vile ambavyo tunaendelea tukisema kuhusu elimu. Elimu ni kwamba ile ya kuhakikisha kwamba tume tumeelimisha watu on prevention katika mambo ya, ya early treatment, mm -hmm. kuhakikisha kwamba wamejua ukiona tofauti katika mwili wako kama mwanamke, kimbia wende ukangaliwe, labda kuna lo jambo ambalo linaweza likatibiwa sasa hivyo mm -hmm. na katika pesa ndogo Kwele. kuliko tuache ile shida iwe kubwa mm -hmm. alafu baadaye uanze kutafuta kama IVF ambapo ni inakuwa ni gali hautaweza uka afford kwa hivyo katika kupiga hii kampeni tunahimiza pia wanaume waweze kujua kwamba shida hizi si mwanamke peke yake yako mm -hmm. nazo mm -hmm. na pia sisi ambao tunaishi na, na watu kama katika jamii tusiweze kuwaona kwamba wamelaniwa mm -hmm. ile si laana na ni kwamba wao pia ni wanawake kama sisi kitu wanahitaji tu ni mawaidha kitu wanahitaji ni elimu na vile anavyosema kwamba tunataka kushirikisha pia serikali kwa sababu muna bajeti nyingi tumeweka katika mambo ya family planning mm -hmm. tukasema kwamba tuko na watoto wengi kwa hivyo tuweke family planning sasa mm -hmm. ni kwamba family planning huwa tunasema kwamba at least kuwe na mtoto mmoja ama wawili ama watatu katika mm -hmm. kila nyumba si mm -hmm. kila nyumba kumaanisha mtu yote aliye hai hapa Kenya at least kila mmoja mtoto mmoja mm -hmm. wawili sasa tukisema kwamba nyinyi ambao hampati watoto kazi nzuri sana kwa sababu uh -huh. hapa kumejaa kwa hivyo acha tuwaeke kando umeelewa <laughs> ambapo tunakiuka haki za watu kama wale na vile ambavyo amesema kwamba baada ya kuelimisha baada ya kuhamasisha mm. kuweza ku, kuvunja inaitwa stigma inaitwa unyanyapaa si ndio kuvunja ule unyanyapaa mm -hmm. ni kwamba zaidi ya hapo wanawake wengi wameweza kutengwa wametengwa na wanaume zao kwa sababu hawajapata watoto mm -hmm. kumaanisha hawezi wakapata mali ile tunasema mm -hmm. kiingereza kuinherit mm -hmm. hawezi wakapata mali yoyote mm -hmm. sasa wanawake kama hao tunawachukua tunaweka pamoja tita taveta tayari mm -hmm. nimeandikisha wanawake 174 na, na tumewafungulia kwanza CBO yao jana imekuwa registered na uh, kupitia mark more than a mother watenda kusaidiwa sasa kuweza kujifungulia biashara mm -hmm. ya kuweza kujimudu wao wenyewe mm -hmm. na tukichukua mfano mzuri wa 
kesi ya Jacqueline Mwende. Mm -hmm. Unaona kwamba vile ambapo kulikuwa na shida nyingi mpaka kaweza kukatwa mikono yake. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu wanaume wakiwa ni wao wako na shida mm -hmm. ile kutopata nafasi ya kuzungumzia shida yao Kwe. unapata kwamba uchungu anaubeba ndani mm -hmm. uchungu ule unazua vita ndani ya familia watu wanaanza kupigana ikawa mpaka Jacqueline akaweza akakatwa mikono mm -hmm. na ni kwamba si yeye kwamba alikuwa na matatizo Jacqueline ni mme wake lakini kwa sababu ya zile tunasema kiingereza frustrations zile bwana alikuwa nazo mm -hmm. akaanza kulewa pombe akawa hiyo mpiga Jacqueline kila wakati ikabidi ikafika wakati waka wakaachana mm -hmm. ile kuachana kwa sababu yeye ameenda akiwa na uchungu mm -hmm. kwamba mimi siwezi nikakaa na mwanamke kwa sababu siwezi nikapea na mwanamke mtoto kumaanisha huyu bibi yangu sasa ataenda na mwanamke mwingine ndio hizo hasira sasa akaja sasa kuja kutaka kumua maana Jacqueline yeye kwake alikuwa anataka mtoto kwa hivyo alipoachana alitaka ku kuwa kuendelea mbele na maisha. Umeelewa? Mm -hmm. So wanaume ni kwamba tusiwe na ile tunasema kwamba mimi ni Mwafrika kwa hivyo nikiambiwa kwamba sipati mtoto inaonekana mimi niko chini. Hapana, hata we ni mwanaume. Ni tatizo ambalo unafaa kuongea mbele za watu ama kwa daktari mm -hmm. ukaweze kusaidika na mkiwa pamoja we pamoja na mke wako. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo wanawake wasipate uh, lawama. Mm -hmm. Wengine mpaka wana wanajua umesikia kama cases kama hizo wengine mm -hmm. wanajiua mm -hmm. sababu ya kutopata watoto wengine wametengwa katika mipango za wanawake mm -hmm. uh, miradi za wanawake unapata kwamba wanamtenga yule mwanamke mm -hmm. sababu kwamba hajapata mtoto tuelewe kwamba ni shida na matatizo ambayo yanaweza kutokea mm -hmm. kila mmoja tuwapende wale wanawake mm -hmm. tuwalete pamoja na vile tukisukuma kupitia kwa serikali kama kuweza kufanya research nyingi mm -hmm. na kuweza kufanya mafundisho ma training katika experts ambazo ambao watakuwa wanatusaidia katika hizo njia mm -hmm. za mambo ya uzazi mm -hmm. itakuwa vizuri. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo sisi kwetu ambao ni uh, ni viongozi ambao tumechaguliwa sisi ni kusukuma kuhakikisha ya kwamba serikali imetenga fedha za kutosha kuangazia mambo ya ya infertility, mm -hmm. kuangazia kwamba tuko na hata na clinics katika level 5 uh, hospitals za mm -hmm. kila county mm -hmm. ili kwamba wanawake wakaweze kufikia mm -hmm. katika matibabu hayo kwa njia ya urais. Shukran. Dr. Rashu, you mentioned and earlier that um, women need to take care of themselves not only women but also men when it comes to reproductive health and infertility and that uh, uh, we should abstain mostly from diseases like STIs and mm -hmm. stuff like that just to make sure that our we are fertile our womb is not messed with and stuff like that so let's talk about a woman when is it early when is it the appropriate time to actually go for a checkup and check if you're fertile you can have kids What is the appropriate uh, age? Of course, uh, uh, first of all, the prevention. Prevention mm -hmm. is very important. Okay. Anything you feel is wrong mm -hmm. and happening uh, in uh, your body, you should have, especially for, for the productive health in this area, mm -hmm. that women or, or men should mm -hmm. go to the doctor immediately for okay. treatment. Because mm -hmm. this can be treated very easily with antibiotic uh, uh, course. Mm -hmm. And avoid all the complications mm -hmm. can cause after years and years and years by infertility. Mm -hmm. And of course, very important to have safe sex and, and, and don't share needles and all this advices for having uh, protection against STDs mm -hmm. we should should be followed this is the beginning and the early stage before mm -hmm. before you think even to have children yeah. mm -hmm. and then after the after marriage uh, if you don't have the children uh, within one year we are below 35 years old then you have to go and check if you uh, uh, get married and wishing to have kids after 35 years old you should go to the doctor mm -hmm. after six months if you did not uh, have uh, children to mm -hmm. check Mm -hmm. If it's everything natural or need treatment, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sometimes it will be natural and you need more trial, and yeah. sometimes it needs some treatment and in, uh, intervention, small intervention, That's and can mm -hmm. help. She, she talked about Jacqueline Wende, the lady from Mugambani yes. who got her hands chopped off. Yes. Mark came in and assisted her in some ways. Yes. 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 How yes. is she doing? She is uh, doing fine. Uh -huh. We visited her two weeks ago, yes. and we are building for her, Mark building for her a new house completely, wow. and with all the protection, security, with yes. electricity. <laughs> the solar panels and water and the uh, sewage and everything in yes. her village mm -hmm. and the most importantly which i uh, value most is a supermarket for her mini supermarket mm -hmm. so she can have her own business and independency mm -hmm. yes. and have her own income mm -hmm. so this supermarket can generate for her around 300 dollars per, per month which is wow. a really good uh, thing yes. so she can be her own uh, you know medical checkup and all these things you know after her injury mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that needed to be done mm -hmm. the reason I also uh, did for her the solar panel because there is no electricity in her village yeah. and she has to charge her uh, hands you know the prosthetic yeah. hands yeah. and she couldn't because uh, she has to travel two hours
hours in somewhere to charge it and it takes like four or five hours to charge. So we created for her this solar banner so she can charge her own hands in yeah, at the house home. also. So <laughs> yeah. So she's yeah. very happy. Actually. Yeah, she's very happy now. With that. But uh, yeah, relatively of course. Mm -hmm. relatively Let's talk happier. about yeah. stigmatization, especially when it comes to a couple that can't give birth by themselves naturally. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, we have methods like she mentioned the IVF, and earlier we were having this discussion, and a lady said this children are like seeds that are being planted. It's not the normal way how God intended it to be. Mm -hmm. But how do we change the mindset of people? Because um, as, as the bill was shut yeah. down, yeah. literally, uh, because of such factors, religious people, maybe I can say traditional people, think that this is more of creating by ourselves and not God-made reproduction. Oh, God also helped us to create technology yeah. and, and science <laughs> yes. to treat ourselves when we have uh, mm -hmm. infection or any disease. Mm -hmm. I mean, why then if someone has a heart uh, or hypertension or diabetes, mm -hmm. we say this is God well and we don't treat him. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, why are we treating these diseases and cancer? Mm -hmm. He should be dying because God created this cancer for him. Yeah? That's true. So, so no, it's a treatment. And I, I see IVF mm -hmm. and ART as approved in Saudi Arabia, yeah. mm -hmm. in UAE, in Egypt, and and uh, all of the places which is have religion is very uh, conservative religion based mm -hmm. uh, either christian or muslim so yeah. so i That's think true. it's uh, it's okay to 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 to, to use the, the god created for us our brain to 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 you know intervene and to innovate mm -hmm. and create mm -hmm. missiles of different technology and science why we don't use this to to help ourselves that's mm -hmm. true that's why it's I called think, assisted yeah. reproductive it's yes. assisted the so same way you get malaria you get assisted yes. to get mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. uh, cure yeah the the only thing uh, I can do that in English, right? You can, yeah. Yeah, so hata hiyo ni, ni, ni njia ya kuweza kutibu shida ya mtu ambaye ako na njia ya ako na matatizo ya kuweza kupata mtoto mm -hmm. kwa njia ile ya kawaida. Mm -hmm. Na tuseme hiyo bill kwanza katika National Assembly ilikuwa isha, isha pita mm -hmm. ndio ikaenda kwenye uh, Senate. Sasa katika Senator uh, Senators ndio wakasema kwamba wanataka ku, kuleta kuna kobiti tunaita mediation committee ambapo the senators na pamoja na wabunge wa, wa National Assembly alafu tutafanya forums pia za kuleta stakeholders wengine mm -hmm. ili kwamba masuala yale ambayo yanafanya kwamba hiyo bill isiweze kupita mm -hmm. yakaweze kuangaziwa tukaweze kuangalia changamoto zile ambazo ziko mpale tuweze kupata suluhisho kwa sababu bill yote hatuwezi tukaitupa nje kabisa well, tukisema kwamba hii si nzuri mm -hmm. lakini unaona teknolojia ni kitu ambacho kina tendeka kila siku. Mm -hmm. Sasa tukisema kwamba tutaachwa nyuma sijui kwa nini kwa sababu sasa hivi IVF inaendelea. Inafanywa chini ya meza. Mm -hmm. Wanaofanya kwanza wanakamua watu pesa nyingi sana. Mm -hmm. Unaona sasa tukileta sheria ya kuiregulate ni kwamba cost ama pesa ambazo sasa tunatumia mm -hmm. itakuwa chache. Hapo ndo nitaka ugusie hapo kwa fedha. Maana kinajua mm -hmm. IVF ni gani? Maana lazima muende mkaangalie muka daktari, angalie wewe yeah. mwenye yai na yule ambaye mm -hmm. atakubebea mm -hmm. kama hali yake mm -hmm. gani alafu kuna zile checkups ambazo Kabisa. lazima uende. Kwa ya gharimu takriban pesa ngapi? Uh, karibu 1400, 1400 na ni kwamba lakini ne? lakini ne. hapo tu ni kupachika lile yai kwa ule mke kabisa na hiyo haisemi haimaanishi kwamba ukishae kwa mara moja basi umefaulu uh -huh. mimi nilibahatika naweza sema shukurani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu nilibahatika kwa sababu tulifanya mara moja na ika ikafaulu uh -huh. kuna watu ambapo inabidi wanaenda mara kumi na tatu Mm -hmm. ama mara kumi na kila ukienda lazima ulipe tena pesa zile zile mm -hmm. umeelewa mm -hmm. ambapo ni pesa ambazo si mtu wa kawaida anaweza akaweza kupata kama mimi ilibidi biashara ambayo nilikuwa nayo nikauza mm -hmm. ili kwamba nikaweze kuweka fedha katika hii process mm -hmm. ambapo si, si kwamba unaangalia tu treatment peke yake kuna hayo mambo mengi tena baadaye mm -hmm. ya kuhakikisha kwamba huyu Sarojet Mada pia amekaa katika afya nzuri mm -hmm. nini kwa hivyo ni gharimu pesa pesa lazima nyingi umshugulike kama lazima umshugulikie kabisa Uh -huh. kama mwanao wewe kama mheshimiwa Joyce ndio ilikuwaje kuaje yani kijamii maana 
lile si jambo ambalo tumezoea kama Afrika. Ni kweli. Sio? Ni kweli. Ilikuwaje nyumbani mavia alisema nini? Nyumbani unajua sasa uzuri babake mtoto ni Mwamerika. Mm -hmm. Wale sasa katika mambo ya teknolojia ni jambo ambalo tayari walikuwa wamelijua, mm -hmm. wamelizoea, mm -hmm. kwa hivyo kwao si jambo geni. Lakini kurudi sasa kwetu katika mila zetu za Kiafrika na kumbuka mm -hmm. kwamba mara kwanza nilienda kwa dadangu nikamuuliza kama wanaweza nibebea mtoto. Mm -hmm. Na mume wake akasema hapana tuwezi tukabeba mtoto ambaye si mtoto wetu umeelewa mm -hmm. ambapo hata kama umewaelezea ya kwamba haitafanyika katika ile njia ambayo unafikiria ya kwamba mm -hmm. ni ya kitandani hii ni ya kisayansi mm -hmm. tayari yule lile la, yai la mtoto kabla halija pelekwa katika tumbo la huyo ya huyo mama mm -hmm. imeform ile inaitwa embryo hiyo mm -hmm. sina sina jina lenyewe la Kiswahili mm -hmm. sasa hiyo embryo tayari ni mtoto tayari ni mtoto tayari kwa hivyo ni kubeba tu ni kumbeba tu kama kuikiwa tu kwenye mfuko mm -hmm. umbebe afika mezi tisa umtoe mm -hmm. umeelewa mm -hmm. kwa sababu so, ikawa ni ngumu kwa sababu ni jambo geni kwao akasema hapana sisi hatuta hatuta za kulifanya. Mm -hmm. Na ikabidi sasa nianze kuzungumza na marafiki. Mm -hmm. Hata yule kwanza aliweza kunibebea mtoto ni rafiki yangu, rafiki yangu mkubwa sana kanisani. Yeye sasa ndiye akajitolea pamoja na mme wake sababu ameolewa ako na watoto. Mm -hmm. Akasema kwamba yeye yuko tayari kunibebea mtoto. Kwa hivyo si jambo ambalo linakaribishwa kwa uraisi mm -hmm. katika jamii zetu za Kiafrika. Ni jambo la kigeni, lakini vile ambavyo nimetangulia kusema ni kwamba sayansi ni kitu ambacho kina kinachipuka kila mm -hmm. wakati na tu, tusipoacha mila tusipoacha zile tunasema kwamba desturi zetu zinasema hivi desturi zetu zinasema hivi mm -hmm. ni jambo ambalo lazima tuliangazie katika mm -hmm. wakati mwingine kweli tunaona kwamba katika mila za kijamii kama mwanamke ambaye ameolewa hawezi kupata mtoto sio you analeta mwanamke analeta mwanamke mm -hmm. mwingine aje kuolewa na mme wake mm -hmm. ndio aweze sasa kumsaidia kupata mtoto mm -hmm. so kwa nini tukaribishe kwamba ile tuna tunaita kwamba polygamy si ndio mm -hmm. kwa nini tuikaribishe katika jamii ili hali tuko na njia za kisayansi za kuweza sisi kusaidiwa kutibiwa na kuweza kupata mtoto. Mm -hmm. Na hiyo IVF si kwamba lazima utafutie mtu mwingine akubebe. Yangu ilikuwa tofauti kwa sababu vile nilifanya operation ya kutoa kizazi. Mm -hmm. Kunayo vile unaweza fanywa hiyo na iwe ni wewe mwenyewe ukapata uka wewe. Yes, uweze ah. kumbeba yule mtoto wako wewe mm -hmm. mwenyewe. Mm -hmm. yes. Kwa hivyo njia ni mbadala ambazo zinazatumika, sio? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Asha you have something coming up on Monday? Yes, so we have a very important event. Uh -huh. uh, we actually um, um, sort of launching what we are going to do in Kenya for Merck More Than a Mother. Mm -hmm. uh, we are inviting uh, women from across Kenya, infertile women, and they talk about their stories. Share Just infertile women? Infertile all women? No, <laughs> all women will be there uh -huh. to support them, but these support. women are going to be sharing these uh, stories, and they're also stories of transformation after we doing the business for them and what they feel about it. They mm -hmm. also will give advice to other women and young couples what they do uh, to avoid their future mm -hmm. this future they are i mean the same future they faced or uh, the same uh, consequences they faced in their life without having access to information and and, and health mm -hmm. uh, this is very important because they act as ambassadors for 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 for, for this cause you know yeah. to, to to help other future couples and young women to know what to do to avoid this uh, fate mm -hmm. and of course uh, in the same event we will have another uh, kind of empowerment because we also Merck have another program which is about in uh, empowering uh, mm -hmm. girls and women in stem mm -hmm. science technology engineering and mathematics and we are doing a big program about that and uh, we providing you know girls in school uh, primary schools with laptops and mm -hmm. and computers and you know and and uh, encouraging them inspiring them to finish education first and also education especially in science technology and yeah, other things which is uh, are currently underrepresented mm -hmm. in uh, in the world which is uh, already contribute to the yeah. social and economic development of Africa in general mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. women are 50 percent of the how do you go about picking the ladies that you support? Uh, infertility for uh -huh. infertile women. Yes. Uh, actually, we do announcement in each uh, county and uh, to to ask them to come out mm -hmm. uh, if they want any help mm -hmm. or to, they want to share their stories. Mm -hmm. And we talk to them and uh, and uh, investigate if they can they need treatment or they can be treated or not. Mm -hmm. If not. If they, yes, we help them. If not, then we support them with this uh, economic uh, empowerment projects. Mm -hmm. We gather them in groups because I believe that group, because we, if you have, for yeah. example, it's a big number. That's if true. you have 150, 200 in yeah. one 
in county. One county. Yes, we have uh, How right many now. businesses? Wow. Yeah. In how many businesses you want to create for yeah. them? They will never yeah. have a community need. Yeah. So we group them and, and and groups and we do something. We do like one business. big project, yes. and yes. then from the uh, profits that they get from from that major project, now they can use them now to do their own individual mm -hmm. like poultry keeping in their houses. Mm -hmm. And um, on the nineteenth, we're going to hand over Jacqueline Monday's uh, Monday's house. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we're going to do that. So what, Jacqueline Monte was a special yeah. case because uh, we, we couldn't give her in group yes. and this is a very yes. yeah. very severe uh, mm -hmm. case so we will have her own business by herself yeah. mm -hmm. uh, but for the other women it's groups and from the income they can live and they keep themselves yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and what have. what Russia is trying to do through Mark more than a mother is also to reach out to women mm -hmm. that are at the ground level mm -hmm. because yes we come we do media interviews in Nairobi but most of the women that are suffering are are on the ground yes, because so the accessibility uh, yeah. partnering mm -hmm. with uh, with Kewopa Mm -hmm. through women parliamentarians she's able now to reach out to women that are in the counties mm -hmm. yes. and what we do like exactly what she said it's exactly what i've done in, in the county i've grouped them together already we've registered them we registered their community-based organization yes. already for them mm -hmm. so now she will use that now mm -hmm. to 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 empower them to inject money for their business mm -hmm. and yes. then later on i mean okay, yeah. if somebody has money and if you want to adopt a child mm -hmm. you are able now to to do it on your on your own yes. mm -hmm. and if it's treatment some of them maybe are suffering from fibroids they need uh, surgery so they are, they are able at so least help to them to help yeah. themselves exactly uh, we're doing the same now after we finish in Kenya next day we're going to Uganda also mm -hmm. in the villages yeah. we have like almost thousand uh, or uh, 1500 uh, between 1000 and 1500 women because they are still coming That's up true. and we gather them in groups and we're doing for them fantastic uh, businesses wow. yeah, and you can cool. see all that in, uh, in our social media the story YouTube. Is, yes, YouTube. yes yes Mark yes. more than a mother more than a mother <laughs> Kenya. Amen. 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 Na vile vile tutaweza kujadili yeah. mawili matatu kadri muda unavyosema kusonga yes. mbele. Na mtazamaji shukrani sana kwa kuweza kuwa nasi mpaka ikafikia sasa hivi. Mwenzangu atakuja achukue ushukani lakini mpaka wiki ijayo mimi nikazo mongela barikiwa.